Hi, uh, this is uh, Rooney207. Uh, welcome back. Um, for today's uh, episode, we'll talk about uh, League of Kingdoms, their most uh, recent updates, and what's uh, happening regarding the uh, Loka pledges, the uh, land, the uh, nerf, uh, the uh, dragos, and uh, the DSA uh, mine. And in general, the so the next um, also uh, just. Um, kind of cover up i think they updated the latest uh, continent versus continent the next one will be for this month uh, for the 22nd of may so that's um uh, that's their latest uh, update on that and then there there's going to be a so in this category this is the discord um uh, this is the league of kingdoms uh, discord and this one is from the big announcement and small announcements i believe we'll cover these and i'll try to uh so the uh, effective uh, May 8th here you can uh, see on here that they're uh, they're essentially on land and this was uh, previously scheduled already there's a reduction and I, I believe uh, also my my land uh, prior to this we all received it in uh, the die token the stable coin and then they moved us to the uh, loca their governance uh, token and uh, ever since that i believe I, my land level is uh, level five i was receiving 1.5 uh, roughly loca per day and then i got nerfed again from there to about one per day uh, based on the uh, the, the number of um, crystals that I applied to the land points, uh, essentially. And then now on um, effective May 8th, my uh, land will be under one loca per day. It'll be uh, essentially 0 0.73, 0 0.77, uh, I guess, if I were to estimate the, uh, that. So it'll be uh, under 0.8 uh, loca per day now, my accrual. And... I think they try to make it the best possible spin by saying that it was uh, the uh, the um, emission was already uh, kind of planned, scheduled, which is true. And then the other piece that they tried to uh, make up for it, uh, which is good if you're doing a lot of the uh, dragos, um, uh, uh, the chimeras, and um, uh, breeding the, uh, the the dragos on the polygon network, uh, you can actually choose to receive the the wrapped uh, token version uh, version of the uh, the loca so the uh, the actual governance token is actually on the ethereum mainnet uh, side so this is the ebm um, component of that the wrapped um, loca on the polygon network so I, I think that's good because the polygon uh, fees are significantly uh, lower and so the uh, and also they kind of uh, give it and you can kind of read about it if you're interested in the uh, the land uh, portion and learning a little bit more about the the iteration of their land program itself at uh, land.leagueofkingdoms.com. So and then if you go to like in general leagueofkingdoms.com, they they have a lot of uh, the different uh, components. Uh, different menus and sub menus that uh, go there so it's it's helpful if you've not uh, looked at that um, piece and maybe one day we'll just kind of uh, cover it for uh, for players that are new and have not actually visited the site um, the, uh, the the second uh, component of uh, this uh, conversation is around the uh, drago economy dashboard so they created uh, this uh, dashboard and you can just and uh, it's kind of similar you can go to dst.leagueofkingdoms.com or league of kingdoms and just select the the dst and uh, this is uh this is nice it uh, it shows um what's uh, what's happening the amount of um, dst that's currently minted and the amount that is burnt um, uh, process uh, things like that so if you're um, breeding and or um, burning them for um, the chimera and the fusion and things like that and also it gives you the number of uh, dsa mines uh, for, for instance i think uh, the the con one the larger continents they're over easily over a thousand of these mines versus my continent i'm on continent four we're at 190 something uh dsa mines so from a daily uh, perspective it just represents um, a combination of between the uh, loca pledges that we have uh, within our uh, continent and also the number of dragos uh, player base so we're much smaller than uh, other continents um and I, I think uh, going forward, we'll probably be one of the smaller uh, continents and we'll probably participate in one of the, uh, not necessarily the, uh, the big major event. Uh, we're not going to be part of the, the main stage of any continent versus continent going forward, I think. Um, 
but we'll be competitive in whatever uh, smaller uh, continent versus continent that we'll participate in. And many of us will probably merge onto um, a, a different continent as well uh, going forward. Maybe uh, many of us will probably migrate to continent too. Um, uh, that's a, as an example and for consideration. And then um, you, you'll also find out like how many uh, on this menu um, itself, the economy dashboard, you'll find out how many of the uh, Dragos um, that are across the, um, your continent and then the uh, how many have been bred in and things like that or bred. And then so that's for that particular piece. And then for the uh, small update here, uh, uh, for those that are kind of um, part of the uh, Splinterlands uh, bot fighting, as you can see, uh, League of Kingdoms have implemented all kinds of uh, bot mechanisms to block APIs. To, they've used all kinds of tools, um, various tools, which uh, Splinterlands will c uh, consider using the, uh, their very first one, the Cloudflare. But uh, there are many that they're going to have to um, implement if they wanted to have the, uh, this level of uh, contested uh, bot uh, piece. So the, uh, the uh, one of the uh, smaller uh, updates here is that uh, we'll, we'll we'll talk about the the level for the DSA mine in order to receive the, any kind of benefit. Uh, they upgraded the to your castle level limit has been uh, raised to uh, level twenty effective uh, uh, tomorrow, and. So you can uh, you can see that um, so the maximum uh, level castle is thirty, and I, I think eventually um, I, I just wish they'll either more aggressively migrate towards that because at level twenty it uh, doesn't take long for a bot to uh, to get there, and um, I think level thirty is something that will be more of an obstacle for the uh, for the bots to, to get to. It takes longer, and maybe not every bot will. Um, will want to make the investment. So that's uh, something I think the game uh, N plus and uh, League of Kingdoms developer uh, development team can uh, look in, uh, into from a consideration uh, standpoint. And I, I think they, uh, they had mentioned that they're aware of some of the concerns about the lack of options for the D, uh, DSA, DSC usage. Um, there, there isn't really a lot of uh, motivation, I think, if you're free to play or low spender. Your, your goal is to rent, um, I think, a Drago from someone, and eventually maybe if you accumulate enough DSA, you can uh, sell and buy the, uh, the Drago. I think the, the major downside is that you do need a Drago. Um, so you need basically the cheapest uh, possible Drago for minting resources at the 100 million um, increment. So I think that's the major benefit is that um, you can mint the uh, 100 million uh, resources for the cheapest uh, Drago. So I, I think any of the golds. Um, so I, I think long term, that's probably where the value and where the uh, maybe anti-bot or fighting the uh, bot mechanism is to raise this um, DSA level and uh, basically the Drago level if uh, you probably have to achieve, I think virtually every castle, everyone that's an active player can uh, reach uh, castle level 30 within a relatively uh, short time, but it's still a, a difficult hurdle for, for bots, I believe. So there, there's still a limited number at the top tier uh, castle unless they decide to raise it. And then also there will be a significant need for resources once uh, later on this year if, um, if the game developer decides to uh, move forward with the T6 uh, troops. So the introduction of the T6 definitely will need a lot of resources. And I think uh, being able to mint those for the cheapest uh, Drago. And I, I think also w one of the hurdles that I, I personally have, like um, I, 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 cur I currently rent a, drag, uh, a Drago. Uh, so Cobra is the king of uh, Continent 4. He was generous enough to lend me one of his, um, his Drago. And then the... The thing is, even if I wanted to buy a Drago, it's it, the hurdle rate is just uh, nearly impossible because one is, uh, it's difficult to even find. And then I don't know if the the ones uh, I've located, even though I have the correct uh, Polygon address and things like that, it's just not an easy uh, confidence level for you to go and spend a hundred plus dollars. Um, 
on the on the drag of knowing that there's a possibility that there may be a fraud or you, you may buy it from incorrectly. So I, I think the developer and plus uh, and, uh, the League of Kingdoms developer, they really need to do a better job to partner with. Um, I, I realize um, they'll say, oh, yeah, it's, you know, that's a polygon marketplace. And but they're the owner of the product. They're the ones that are issuing it. And I think they should create a healthier um, marketplace for us, too. And I, I realize there's not a, a lot of daily active players. Um, so their player base is relative low, the number of transactions and things like that so maybe as the volume goes up um, the developer will put more focus on it and will kind of um, create a a true um, marketplace uh, landing spot where it's a lot easier to navigate um, uh, to buy the correct uh, product and uh, uh, to correct uh, market items so i think the only thing that uh, currently uh, i think as a player i would have significantly higher confidence is to buy and sell resources because it's uh, it's a lot more of them, and it's a lot easier when I go to the search item. Uh, the resources pop up under items, so it's a lot easier. Versus, I can't search for a drago; it doesn't pop up, and there's no place. Um, and that this goes for like even for city skins, it pops up, but it's uh, it's not a lot of options. Uh, so I I think um, I, I hope that the developer will uh, will continue to uh, make uh, pr uh, progress uh, on the, uh, that uh, component of of it and uh, we'll you know see uh <clears throat> see how how it goes from uh from there and i i think in terms of the uh the, the actual um uh, game and the uh, the the progress um i i think things kind of slowed down and uh just like the economy itself we're in a uh, bear market and heading into a potential recession if you're in the u.s uh, so there's going to be that uh type of um downward uh, pressure uh, on the game and the pricing uh, so uh, we'll, we'll see we'll, we'll see where things go um, this is uh, it uh, for uh, this uh, video uh, thank you so much for your time